In this nugget, we're going to look at how a van de Graaff generator works and some experiments relating to it. This is a van de Graaff generator. Let's have a look inside. The top of the van de Graaff is a metal half sphere. That sphere is connected by a needle to a rubber band. This band spins when the van de Graaff generator is switched on. This rubber band rubs against brushes at the bottom. Friction transfers electrons from the band to the brushes. This makes the band positively charged. The metal sphere is connected to the positive band by a needle. Negative electrons move from the neutral sphere to the positive band. This leaves the hemisphere positive. The hemisphere is now positively charged. Objects do not like to be charged and they prefer to be neutral. If we move a conductor connected to an earth wire near to the van de Graaff, we will get a spark. Electrons will flow from the earth, where there are lots of electrons, to the van de Graaff generator, where there are not enough electrons, until the van de Graaff generator is neutral again. Aiko is doing an experiment with a van de Graaff generator. Her teacher tells her to stand on an insulating mat. This is so she is not grounded and she can build up charge. Aiko places her hands on the van de Graaff generator and her teacher switches it on. She begins to become charged. As Aiko loses electrons, she becomes positively charged. Each of her hairs also becomes positively charged. This means they want to repel each other. And this makes her hairs stand up and away from each other. The teacher switches off the van de Graaff generator and Aiko takes her hands off, but she remains charged. This is because she is standing on the insulated mat, so she cannot discharge. She is still positively charged. It's Johnny's turn next. He walks towards her, she reaches out, and they both get an electric shock. Johnny is standing on the ground, so he is neutral. Electrons flow from him to Aiko until she is neutral too. This is what causes the spark. To summarise, friction can cause the transfer of electrons from one object to another. If an object loses electrons, it becomes positive. If an object gains electrons, it becomes negative. If a charged object is brought towards a conductor, a current or spark will flow to make the object neutral. If the object is negative, the spark will flow away from the object. If the object is positive, the spark will flow towards the object. Keywords. Electron, a small, negatively charged particle that orbits the nucleus of an atom. Charged, when an object is positive or negative. Discharge, when a spark flows from or towards a charged object to make it neutral. Spark, a current that flows between charged objects. Insulator, a material that current cannot flow through easily. They can be charged and they are normally non-metals. Conductor, a material that current can flow easily through. They cannot be charged easily and they are normally metals.